I think it's good. Well, hello everybody. This is Milat from Finland. Well, I wanted to share you quickly something with you. And I just decided about this a few hours ago. It's not a big thing, but I thought maybe it's good an idea if I just start recording right now. I had no intention to record this video and I don't have any script, um, any uh, notes that I can read from. So I'm just trying to be honest with you and talk in front of you uh, like this. So I tried to fix some things in the editing, but uh, for the most part, it's going to be like this. So today I want to announce that I finally, I think I found the idea of uh, found the idea I wanted to start work on that as my startup, basic startup idea. So uh, it's going to be a web application, basically, first, then maybe I'll come up with an application for that. But the whole point is that um, I found the idea I wanted to work on. Well, I've had a lot of ideas over the past few years, but none of them actually... Uh, motivated me to to start thinking about actually I want to do that I want to start my own startup but this idea that I came across today actually while while I was looking for something in YouTube um, in Google like actually uh, then I couldn't find what I wanted to uh, see and I started thinking that maybe that this is what I need to work on so this video is all about this and maybe in five years I look back uh, at this video and say well I made a good decision or maybe um, a bad decision but I think it's gonna be in the end if I fail uh, completely I think in the end it's gonna be something good because uh, I think the most important part is actually doing um, the first thing you know uh, the first is the, is just, um, decide. Okay. Decide something. And today I think, uh, I, uh, I decided to, uh, start my startup and I have an idea for that. Let me tell you about myself a little bit, uh, for those of you that don't know me. So I'm a developer in Finland. I've been doing web development for over almost, uh, um, well, two years and for um, and another year I was pitch this student basically uh, and actually I was doing web development a little bit here and there uh, during my PhD studies. Then I quit my PhD studies, long story. I don't want to talk about that part. But yeah, I'm a developer and I have worked with different technologies. And my daily technology uh, I'm dealing with is basically PHP and uh, Drupal, a little bit JS as well. But as my side projects that I do and uh, most of the teaching tutorials I have in our channel, which is a technical channel, it's usually based on Django and React.js, which is, I think, which are uh, good frameworks and it's a good combination between Django and React.js and this is uh, the stack and that pretty much I'm going to choose for the startup I want to start working on so it's not uh, I can't call it startup yet it's just an idea and then I want to work piece by piece on the application itself then maybe after um, having the MVP, I can call it my own startup, but that's just a beginning. So this is an introduction. And uh, before going to the main idea that I wanted to share it with you, uh, let me tell you first something that I think sharing is really good. Maybe some people say that it's not really good that you share your ideas with others, but I think there is no problem with that. Uh, sooner or later, there, there's going um, to be, you know, there's going some people uh, duplicate my idea and then uh, create another platform pretty much similar to what I, what I'm going to do. So it's better to just share it sooner. It doesn't matter, I think. 
if there is somebody who is willing to do that, that's fine. But I think the most, the main problem we have is that um, there is there is nobody actually out there that is willing to do this at this point. And so it doesn't matter if I share it or not, but I think there, there are a lot of good sides. If I try to share it, I can get some feedbacks from you, some com- comments from you. Maybe I can work on my idea a little bit, make it better and change it in some way. So um, that's a whole re- reason and that's the whole purpose, purpose of sharing these videos with you because I wanted to share every step, a step of the way so that I can get some com- uh, uh, comments and some feedbacks from you. And that way I can improve my uh, application. I've had a lot of ideas over the past few years. Let me show you uh, some of them with you. Uh, the very first idea I had for so long was that maybe a platform uh, for interviews. Well, actually, when I was looking for some questions, some quizzes for doing interviews beforehand, uh, I couldn't find actually a really good website that I can go there and then answer some questions and actually mimic the behavior of an interview. It was uh, really difficult for me to find uh, such an application or website. Uh, so basically, you go to the website and there is a bunch of questions there, maybe qu- some quizzes, and then you answer to them. Some questions about programming languages, about uh, software engineering in general, about anything related to de- web development, and maybe even specific to uh, languages themselves, for instance, JavaScript, Python, and then you answer to those questions and then finally it gives you the final answer and then analyzes your um, your skill and then at the end it uh, suggests some um, tips to you that uh, you need to do this, you need to do that to improve yourself. And this kind of, you know, uh, platform. Maybe there are some similar ideas, similar platforms out there. There is no doubt about that. But I believe that if you work on something and add a new feature to that and work around that new feature, it's going to be completely a different thing. Um, look at, for instance, these social medias these days. For instance, YouTube versus Instagram. And uh, you can see that at the first glance, they both look similar. But in the end... At the end of the day, they're complete different things. Uh, for instance, Instagram is for, you know, four short videos. It's famous because of its reels, because of you can post pictures. But on the other hand, you have YouTube, which is for basically long videos and for tutorial videos, for, you know, deep videos, basically. And both have their own audiences. We have also... Uh, Twitch, we have TikTok, we have uh, other kinds of platforms, social medias, pretty much with the same um, uh, basics, but they're completely different things at the end of the day. So the only thing you need to do, just try to add a new feature for some targets, for some audience, and that's going to make it a completely different thing. So it doesn't matter if the idea is already out there, you can just um, tweak it a little bit and then, well, it's good to go. So the other idea I had, and I wanted to work on that badly, was uh, content generation, basically. And I tried to do it. I actually created created an MVP for myself. Basically, you just um, you give a description, and it creates the video for yourself based on AI. And actually, what I did was basically. Um, for generating a tutorial video. For instance, I want a video for uh, teaching me how to use Python for data science to analyze this and this. So it's gonna create a video for you, uh, extract the code, put the code on the text and then add some voiceover. And I have another video on that. You can watch the other video about this, but that was the basic idea. And we're gonna see a lot of these uh, content-based 
uh, basically uh, AI based generating uh, platforms. And uh, it's going to be really a huge thing in future. And there is a chance that my idea is really similar to other ideas, other platforms already there. But as I said, uh, you can come up with a new feature and just add it to the, to that platform. Okay. Uh, long story short, I, I've had a lot of ideas. The other idea I had was basically CV matcher. So you can put your CV and then, uh, description of the job you're going to apply to. And then it gives you a score about, uh, how, um, how much it, it, it matches your CV. A long list of ideas. I'm not going to tell you about all of those. But now let's go to the main idea that I wanted to share with you. And this is, I think, what I wanted to work on. Uh, but I need to dig more a little bit. The idea is about basically, uh, I was looking for basically, uh, I wanted to see how I can grow my YouTube channel. And I've seen some ideas about collaboration between YouTubers which seems really a good idea. But then I try to find some YouTubers like me with, you know, similar amounts of subscribers and uh, in a similar field. But it was really difficult for me. And actually, I couldn't find a really solid website for that, that I can go there and find the so YouTubers I want and then ask them, uh, you know, to collaborate with me. So I thought maybe it's a good idea to do that. So basically, it's going to be a platform. Uh, I'm not sure if we have a similar thing like that or not. I tried to search. I uh, found a couple of uh, platforms, but it's not really great. And it's not really in a way that I want it to be. Now, let me tell you a little bit about my plan. So... As the very first next, next step, I'm going to actually create some sketches, draw some sketches about the application. It's going to be a few pages. I think the main page and the edit page for the request actually. So, uh, in the very first page, you're going to see a list of, uh, items. Each item is about that some a subscriber, uh, um, uh, a YouTuber basically is asking from others. Uh, to collaborate and then uh, other YouTubers can actually apply for that. And then in the end, the YouTuber who owns the item can actually accept any of those YouTubers. So after all, they can uh, have their uh, emails, each other's emails. So that's how it's going to work, I think. I'm just brainstorming right now. I have no idea how it's going to be. So I'm going to show you more details about that in the next video. But for now, that's it. So I'm going to come up with some sketches as the very first, very first step. I need to be really careful about my journey here uh, because let me tell you about my situation. It's a tough situation here I have. Because right now, I, uh, I moved to Finland about three years ago, two years and a half, something like that. And I'm here with a work permit. So I need to have a work to work here. If I want to spend the whole time on my startup, it's not going to happen because I need money. And on the other hand, I need the work permit. But I can't get the permit with startup, but it's going to be complicated um uh, you know a situation so i'm not going to do that so i need to do my daily job 9 to 5 basically and i'm going to do it well and i have to do it well after that i have maybe one or two hours in the evening to take care of my startup because i also need to spend one or more two hours in for my youtube channel so uh, yeah, I don't want to miss YouTube videos because I think, uh, first of all, YouTube is a good channel for communication with you and just, I can share my ideas, my thoughts, and I can 
get some feedbacks from you. And for the second thing is that when, uh, when, when, when I have my startup, my application ready, I can actually, I have a channel to distribute it. I have a channel to announce it and, uh, there, there's going to be a lot of users already when the application is ready. So it's a good point. And for the third thing is that, well, it's going to, the YouTube channel is going to, uh, bring me some money and when, when I monetize it, when I join the, uh, YouTube AdSense partnership. At that point, I have a little bit of money from that. Maybe I start some other side hustle side projects and I can earn some money. So maybe in future in two years, I can quit my job safely and, uh, work on my startup full time. That's my plan. But let's see how it goes. In four years, five years, I'm going to uh, look at this video and think with myself if I made the right decision. So this is how it's going to work. And this is how it is. I just wanted to be really honest with you. I don't want it to create that kind of crazy videos that use animation, use AI voiceovers, or I just wanted to uh, this is the reality. Believe me or not, this is the reality. And the more we share things like this with each other, it's it feels better, I think, that we see other people like this uh, that have some same issues, same problems, and same um, basically challenges in life. Okay, that's it for now, I think. I'm going to... Uh, create another video, an update video, but I'm going to spend another two days on the idea, come up with some sketches, and uh, hopefully already I know what frameworks I'm going to use. React.js for the front end, back end, Django, and uh, that's a general thing, and along the way I'm going to use other frameworks and tools as well, of course. Yeah, thank you for watching until now. I hope I see you again. Thank you. Bye-bye.